welcome back to Charmin's Kitchen. I want to say good night one, good night all. If you're visiting for the first time, I want to say welcome to my channel. Today marks the eighth day of my 21 day fasting and I'm feeling so, so good. I'm feeling happy. Hope you guys are enjoying the recipes without meat. Um, today my recipe is going to be boil and fry provision. Um, without any meat or any seafood and this is such a such a simple recipe with a lot of very nutritious Things so if you come on down, we will do this together So here are all my provision for today's dinner and I have two half ripe plantain I have one sweet potato I have some edos and some frozen cassava. I'm gonna peel the rest of the provision and I will show you the next step for our boil and fry today. So here I have my edos all peeled and washed. Plantains are peeled and cut up and I have my sweet potato and cassava. My water is on the stove boiling and I'm gonna add these to the pot soon. So my water is hot, I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of salt, just the flavor of the water. And then I'm gonna add my provision in here. I wanna take my time before I make a splash. Everything is going in. And I have to add the edos. And I'm gonna let this cook until they're nice and soft. And then I'll strain them. So this is what my view from my back door look like guys. Natalie went outside today on her lunch break and that's what all the footprints in the back look like. She had a good time in the snow today. So everything is covered and we had a good portion of snow. I'm surprised it's still bright out. But it looks so beautiful with the white covered on the ground. But it's super cool right now. So here are my seasoning for my boil and fry. I have a pepper here, but I'm just going to use about a quarter or half. I have some green onions, some cilantro. I have a tomato, some onions, and a clove of garlic. I'm going to chop everything up while my provision is boiling and... I will show you the next step. So all this goodness is nice and soft. You can see they're, they're actually falling apart. So I'm going to strain all the provision now out of the water. And I will start working on the next step. So I'm frying up mine with some butter. And um, I'm going to add some tomatoes into here. I like the flavor of frying my boil and fry with butter. It gives it a nice, rich flavor. So I'm going to let this cook for a while until it's nice and soft before I add the rest of my ingredients. So my tomato is nice and it looks like it's a sauce. That's how I like it. I'm going to add some salt. I'm going to go in with a teaspoon of salt. You can add salt to taste. And I just want to raise up back my heat and I'm gonna go in with the green onions and the onions that I had here and then the pepper and I'm adding a clove of garlic but I'm gonna grate the garlic because I want it to um, get infused all over quickly and not to be in chunks So here goes my garlic. I'm gonna blow the stove down a little. And this is smelling very, very nice. I have to grind some black pepper in here. Okay, everything is in here now. Wow, very nice. And I'm going to add my black pepper, about a teaspoon of ground black pepper. And 
in goes my cilantro will add a really really nice flavor to this boil and fry I don't want the cilantro to overcook so I'm just gonna turn it up and then I'll add my provision back in here and then there you go in with my provision and it's nice and soft so we're just gonna let this goodness mix up all over in here and this is ready soon so it's gonna have that nice buttery flavor garlic onion cilantro look at that how beautiful it is and this is ready so here is that plate of goodness my boil and fry look how nice and soft and delicious and seasoning everywhere i can't wait to dig in and this is a plate of hearty goodness with some very very nutritious things in this plate plantain for iron sweet potato for fiber edos rich in iron as well and so many good things so i'm gonna play it up and let you guys know how this tastes so here is my plate of goodness my beautiful looking boil and fry provision and i have a cup here of cinnamon and ginger tea it's steaming hot so this is my dinner today i just want to show here i have my ripe plantain edos the cassava or yuca for those who know it as yuca and here is my sweet potato i'm gonna try to taste um, a bite of everything and the yuca is so soft and nice inside i'm gonna take a little bite so i um can let you guys know how it tastes my first mouthful is for my viewers and subscribers so cheers mm. so delicious guys right amount of seasoning that butter flavor give it a real nice boost and all the fresh onion flavor and all that is really coming through this dish goes nice with fish curry if you're not fasting and it goes nice with salted fish look at the sweet potato how nice and soft and um this dish can eat with so many things but it's a very filling dish as well so sweet potatoes mm. so nice and creamy and really really rich in flavor mm. sweet potatoes so satisfying so one of my favorite here and you can do so much with this is the edos and it's it's hard to find good edos in north america but this one is really nice and edos is really um something that you can do so much with you can put it in soups you can make curries so many different things and i'm gonna take this mouthful for Riza because i know Riza love edo mm. my favorite it's so so nice and soft and so flavorful wow i'm not missing anything here and my kids favorite in my house is the plantain when it's half ripe like this and cooking the ball and fry because it has that swedish flavor just a beautiful plate of goodness i'm so happy for this dish so until then if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for there's a lot more of amazing videos coming until then stay blessed stay safe bye for now